create my marketing 8x8 campaigns. First, let's take a moment to review the basics of touch campaigns. This comes straight from the Millionaire Real Estate Agent. A touch campaign is a series of systematic, consistent, and purposeful contacts with people in your database. A touch can be a personal visit, phone call, handwritten note, email, newsletter, market report, greeting card, or even an interaction through social media. Every touch should always convey the meaning and value to potential buyers and sellers, include a reminder to send you referrals, and include a method for contacting you. Here's what a 14-month calendar looks like when you're marketing to new Mets. The 8x8 campaign is an interval campaign. For example, the first piece goes out automatically one day after the contact is added, second piece seven days after the first piece, third piece seven days after the second piece, and so on until the eighth week has been sent. By putting your Mets on an 8x8 campaign and then immediately following up with a 33 touch campaign, you'll be reminding them of your value and sending them relevant, useful information 41 times in 14 months. This is how you'll stay top of mind. If you have a group of people that you've met, let's say in an open house for example, you can put them all on an 8x8 program at the same time by adding them to a group. If you're working with only an individual, you'll add them to whatever group you decide they belong to, and then you can add them to your campaign. We'll show you these steps later in the presentation. To get started, visit mykw.kw.com, click on My Contacts, then click View Contacts. Before launching a touch campaign in eEdge, it's a huge time saver to organize your contact database into groups. You'll start this process from the Contacts drop-down menu. You'll choose Manage Groups. Then you can click Create New Group. Create the new group, then Save. Now we'll walk through the process of launching a touch campaign in eEdge. To get started, visit mykw.kw.com within the eEdge control panel, expand the My Marketing menu, then choose Manage and Create Campaigns. On the eEdge menu, click Create Marketing, then choose Create New Campaign. In the list of search options on the left, click on the Collections drop-down menu, then select Market My Business Sellers. For this example, we'll choose the 8x8 buyer here to help you sell. There's also a team version if the marketing campaign is coming from a team of agents as opposed to an individual. When you've located the campaign you want to edit or launch, click Choose This Template. After choosing your campaign, you'll be taken to this screen which has all of the details of your campaign. The email menu will show you how many emails have been sent on this campaign as well as the open rate or the percentage of people who viewed the email. Direct mail, if any, will show you how many of your ordered mail pieces have been sent out and a running tally of your dollar spent. Activity, if any, will show how many of the activities that you have scheduled and a percentage of those activities completed. Step 1 will allow you to change the name of your campaign. Step 2 will allow you to edit individual pieces, reorganize pieces and delivery dates and more. We'll review this step in detail in just a moment. Step 3 will allow you to add and remove contacts. And Step 4 is where you'll activate the campaign. You can also add showcase properties in each email and pause the campaign. Let's review Step 2 in a little more detail. Under Review and Configure Steps, you'll look for what steps need to be customized. You can change the schedule of the delivery times and dates. You can view each piece in the campaign. Edit individual pieces by choosing Personalize. And clicking Add Step will allow you to add a new piece to the campaign. Let's walk you through that process. When you click Add, it'll take you to this screen, and you can choose any other piece that's available in the design library, either by email, activity, or direct mail. Each piece can be personalized by choosing the Personalize button. If you choose Edit, you'll be taken to the Content Editor page, where you can start editing. All items that can be edited using the Content Editor will be highlighted. Make your changes, then click Save or Save As. You can then continue editing or exit the editor. 
you can now go to step four and activate the campaign. When your 8x8 campaign sends out its last touch, you'll receive a reminder that it's time to launch the 33 touch for those contacts who are on the 8x8 but did not convert to clients. This reminder will be in the form of a task. You can see this by clicking on Emails and Reminders in the eEdge menu, then clicking on the Reminders tab. And at any time you can see the history of your 8x8 campaign's performance under the list of completed campaigns. From the eEdge menu, click Create Marketing and then choose My Saved Campaigns and change the View drop-down list to show the completed campaigns. We want to thank you all for being here. Make it a great day at Keller Williams.